Hi everybody, this is Mr. Claus, and this is a quick reminder about how to use the percent error formula. So percent error is when you're calculating something that already has a known value. For example here, I calculated the density of silver, and I got it to be 9.9 .9 grams per centimeter cubed. The actual density of silver that you can Google or look up in a book is 10.5 grams per centimeter cubed. What the percent error formula can do for you is give you a measurement of how wrong or how far off you are. It's literally, literally the percent error, how far away from that actual answer you are. The formula works like this. Your percent error equals the calculated value. The calculated is what you got. So calculated value here is what you got through your own experiment. In this case, it's going to be 9.9 .9 grams per centimeter cubed. Minus the accepted value, that's the value that you can look up. That's the value that you're checking against that you want to see how close you are to. You'll notice that this top part of the fraction here is in absolute value bars. That means it's always going to be positive whether or not, depending on how you subtract it. You're going to divide that whole thing by the accepted value times 100. So it works like this. I go percent error equals my calculated value 9.9 .9 grams per centimeter cubed minus my accepted value is 10.5 grams per centimeter cubed. That whole thing goes in absolute value bars. Divide that all by the accepted value which is 10.5 grams per centimeter cubed times 100. So if I go to my calculator, first thing I'm going to do is my top part of the formula, my 9.9 .9 minus 10.5. And I get negative 0.6, but again, because it's in absolute value bars here and here, it just ends up being 0.6. I divide that whole thing by my accepted value, which is 10.5 grams per centimeter cubed. So I do 0.6 divided by 10.5, and I get 0 0.057. However, times the whole thing by 100. All that means, take the decimal, move it two places to the right, and I get percent error equals 5.7%. So my value that I calculated, 9.9, .9, is 5.7% off from the actual value, 10.5. That's how to use the formula.